Hi, I'm Dr. Jackson Crawford. I'm a specialist in the Old Norse language currently teaching at the University of California, Berkeley, previously at UCLA. I've recently posted a few favorite love quotes from Old Norse poetry, as well as the words, I love you in Old Norse. And continuing in this theme for Valentine's Day, I thought that I would mention that love poetry as such is not really found in any great numbers in Old Norse literature. In fact, according to the laws of the Icelandic Republic, as recorded in the manuscript called Grogos, love poetry was illegal, and a man could receive full outlawry, which means exile from Iceland for the rest of his life, for composing a love poem for a woman. One reason for this might have been that since fathers were responsible for deciding who their daughters would marry, a man who composed a love poem for a woman is sort of usurping the role of the father in determining uh, who the woman will go with because he might make her fall in love with him without her dad's permission. But the sagas do occasionally have poems that are a little bit like love poems, and I'm going to read one that is uh, perhaps about as close as you can get. This is preserved in both Kormak Saga and in Gunnlaug Saga, Ormstungu, and I'm going to read the version that's in that latter poem, or the latter saga, which is spoken by Gunnlaug after he has encountered his love who has married another man uh, against her will. Bromani skein bruna, brims und liosum himni, Restar horfi glastrar heukfron o miklauka, en so geisli sislir sidan gulmens fridar farma tungso krenga, hlinar othorf nina. The linen decorated girl's hawk fierce eyes shone beneath her fair forehead upon me, the poet. But the shining light from that girl's eyes is preparing ruin for me, and no less for her. And as usual in my videos, that's read with. Old Norse pronunciation as reconstructed rather than with modern Icelandic pronunciation. All the best to you.